Well, today we're celebrating Gary's birthday. Yay. So our videographers just happened to give him an early little birthday card called Old Farts Recipes. So we thought it was appropriate that we would make an Old Farts recipe. I think that's appropriate. Okay. Absolutely. And in fact, it's called Butterscotch Icebox Cookies. And, and I vividly remember my mother making butterscotch, or making icebox cookies. There's really no butterscotch. There's no butterscotch in it, but it has the flavor of butterscotch because when of the it's brown done. Sugar. Mm -hmm. Okay, so right. let's get at it. And the ice box itself would make it sound like I'm really old, but exactly. But that's really we've just always had. Even in my early days, we had actually we had refrigerators, so yes. I'm not that old. So no ice box with the no, ice. No or big chunks of ice to keep the ice box cold. Okay, so we are going to start by creaming two cups of brown sugar and one cup of butter, and. When I was growing up, the, the creaming meant creaming by hand, okay? okay. Uh, but we're gonna let you use the, the mixer for the first part. So just be careful because when you use a mixer with brown sugar, it can kind of go kind all of over the place. Kind of start flying around? Yeah, I'll so we're just gonna- be careful so I don't fly the stuff into the camera. So we're just gonna cream that until it's all, you know, mixed in real well. And then we're going to that add two eggs and a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. So what's the best part of celebrating your birthday this year? Well, you know, I think this is going to be a whole new deal going on with my birthday this year because I'm a grandpa. That makes all the difference in the world. This will be Eleanor's, uh, or it'll be my first birthday with little granddaughter Eleanor Rose. So that's going to be fun. We're going to go out and celebrate on my birthday, and and uh, not sure exactly what we're gonna do yet. Well, we will be down with Eleanor babysitting that day, so we will be going somewhere to do a little celebration. Is that good enough? That's good, okay. So now we're gonna add in the two eggs and a teaspoon of vanilla. And we are also, are also gonna add in um, uh, three-fourths of a cup of walnuts, but because we're using the mixer, we're going to wait and do that by hand. Right. hand okay. the nuts. When, when you're <clears throat> is that it. because why? So you don't break the nuts up into too many. Right. Yeah. And like particles. I said, creaming it would be creaming by, by hand that. rather than using a mixer. Okay. Okay. All right. So. <clears throat> so yeah, little Eleanor is is just. She'll be so oh, much fun. Yeah, she is just days away from being eight months old. Yeah. And she is crawling and getting into things and not getting into things but just crawling after her toys playing with the puppers and pulling and herself up on the couch and she loves to stand and walk with our hands holding together with her fingers Oops. in her hands so Sorry that here. is that is always fun to see that stage in a youngster's life okay Good. yeah so we're gonna get all of whoops this off really well off the beaters yes okay do that a little bit. Are we going to use the mixer we're again? Or are we going to take? We're going to do yeah, by hand. No, we're using the mixer. Why don't you? Okay, can I use my fingers? Just move this over. Okay. Sure. Fingers. Clean you, fingers. You washed your fingers I before you started, did. right? I certainly did. Okay. Yeah, you wouldn't have that issue using your fingers if we were doing this all by hand. Right. Okay. All right. Um, I didn't get the next one. The next one better? Oh. Next one better. I'm going to clean that off better. Yeah. Um, you use your fingers and I'll use the knife here. Okay. Yeah, it was kind of fun, you know, making these icebox cookies growing up. And I've kind of always wanted to make these on the show, too. They're, you know, a little bit more labor intensive because you have to put them in the, the refrigerator, mm -hmm. you know, when, when you're done. And so how long okay. do you let these chill down? If you um, make this total mix. Yeah. Well, when, when I made my first batch, I had them in the, the fridge for probably two or three hours. Okay. But you can also make them ahead and put them in overnight. Okay. You know? So at least two or three hours. Right. Or just overnight just so want. they're able to be cut because we'll yeah. show you why you need to cut them. Okay. Okay. To that, we're going to add three and three fourths cups of flour, uh, one teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda and about a half a teaspoon, uh, no, I'm sorry, quarter teaspoon of salt. Okay. 
and then you're supposed to stir that up. You could also use your, your mixer to get that all mixed in, but this is fine. And then we're going to just stir so that I'm gonna up. I'm going to try this. I have not done this yet. Just have to kind of keep you going around and around, you know, to get it all mm -hmm. mixed well without getting flour all, all over, over the, the counter. I'm pretty much an expert at that. And then get the, the flour down from your your sides. Uh, the sides, mm -hmm. you know, every once like in a so. while. Yep, and just keep going. All of this flour has to be incorporated. So. Into a cookie batter looking yes. kind of texture. So it's dry looking. Okay. You're not going to see any white. Okay. You're not going to see the whites. I can see why they invented mixers, electric mixers. Yeah, this gets kind of this yeah. kind of slows if you I down didn't after have a while. In there, I would probably just mix the whole thing. Yeah. Or what you could probably do if you wanted to, you, you could mix, mix this with the whole the thing. Meter and then um, add the nuts. Exactly. Yeah. So that might be a, a recommendation. That would be my recommendation. Okay. How am I doing? We're, still doing, a little, we're doing pretty well. There's still a little yeah, powder in there. Yeah, still got white there, though. Okay. Okay. I'd go with the recommendation on the electric beaters, mm -hmm. folks. This is getting a little bit too much. Okay, why don't you let me finish it off? I didn't okay? do my I didn't do my weightlifting today, nor yesterday. You get all this stuff out of the way, before. and I'm just okay. going to finish it. Okay. Okay. That's why my mother had had good muscles, I think, because she did all of her stuff by hand. Right. In fact, the, I think the first recipe that that she ever used her mixer. Mm -hmm. Was those world's best sugar cookies? And then you she know, started using, and then electric she started mixer? using a mixer for that. But, ah, but, otherwise, but otherwise, she always mixed everything. Everything by else hand. was all by hand. Okay, so if you want to get me cut two pieces of wax paper, okay. which I have out there, well, bigger, bigger, bigger. That's good. Oh, this is to make the this is roll out the logs right. to chill. Okay. Okay. Everyone like that. And then you want to just divide them. I'm going to put this over yeah. so it doesn't mm -hmm. get dirty. Okay. And then you want to just divide this in half. Okay. Thank you. And then as you're getting the last of your your dough out, if there's did you get the any nuts, flour, I did. I missed that part. If there's any uh, part of the flour, then you can just mix that in. I have to confess, this cookie dough is really good. <laughs> so when I made my, my first recipe, I was kind of hungry, so I, I had to, to try it. So and really it, the key is to have a little bit of a late lunch, or yeah. whatever time of the day it is you're doing your baking, mixing. But you might, good breakfast, eat a light lunch before know, you start mixing cookie but, dough. But I just have to say, you might want to have some lunch because if you eat too much cookie dough, then you don't feel very well that's afterwards. Right. No, I'm saying eat lunch to avoid the feeling that you want to eat. Exactly. Okay, so okay, you want to so do this. So, what do we one. do now? We're going to so you just want to roll it in, mold this mold it into a log like into shape. Into a log, yep. Okay. And even when I rounded them out and get them, get all okay. of it. Kind of equal. You can put that put that together Shorter, more. Little yep. Because you want it all to be the the same width. Okay. 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 There. That's okay. good. Mine too yep. flat. Yeah. Well, just a little bit. Just get that up just a little bit. Okay. And so that is the same there. width. Now roll it. Yeah, and then just and you can kind of form it a little bit more. You know, with your paper. Okay. And I so. thought my the first batch I made I thought was what, was going to make it round. So and just it turn it like that. Right? Nope. So then you can stick these two in the ice box. In the ice box? Okay. <laughs> on a on a plate or on a um here. Whoops, excuse me. Just put it out of hand. No. No. Okay. So, so we're just gonna container. throw these in here. Okay. okay, so those go in the fridge. And then, like I said, I just happen to have some made already. So if you want to retrieve that, I, I had made these the day before. So I have the one roll 
in the refrigerator all night. So, so that's what so it looks like I, after so it's So then I cooled. actually took it out about an hour in advance, okay. you know, and it's right. still a little bit hard, but mm -hmm. now you're going to cut them into one quarter inch. That's and really thin. And a quarter thin. isn't very big. No, okay? a quarter inch is really thin. Yeah. Well, like that. Yes. Okay. Did you want to grab those? Okay, sure. And, I can keep and that's actually that. thicker than, what, that is too thick. I, than okay. what I made. All right, let's go thinner then. I'm just going to mold that. These actually cut pretty nice. Right? They do. And like I said, when I made the, the first recipe, I just um, had them in the refrigerator for two or three hours mm -hmm. just so that they, they are sticking together, you know, some. Right. That's the important part. All right. And you have and walnuts in these, and we were talking this morning about maybe pecans, pecans would, would also be a good substitute. If anybody remembers or still likes to buy pecan sandies in the store, <clears throat> in the grocery store, as a kid, those are one of my favorites besides chocolate chip cookies. Okay, I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees, okay. so you can put this in the oven, okay. and then you are going to bake them for 10 minutes. Okay. And I just bake one pan at a time when my mother would make cookies. She, she would rotate her cookies, so if you used both, both uh, grates yeah. in your oven, then half, so halfway, top, then halfway bottom, through the baking. Just exchange them. Exactly. Okay. And this recipe is going to yield about uh, four dozen. If okay. you don't eat any of the cookie dough in <laughs> advance. If you don't eat the cookie dough. Okay. There so you go. can take that over to, you know, put it someplace over okay. by the oven. Nope, just put them on, on top of the other oven if you okay. wish. All right. And then for your birthday, we just happen to have some cookies made already. Aww. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Unfortunately, Eleanor isn't eating sugar or nuts or anything like that Nothing yet, like so, that, yeah. so she doesn't get to sh share your cookies, but... But I think what we'll do is we can give her one just, just for a photo op, let her hold one, and go like this. Oh, that would be mean. Then. Sure, that would be mean, then take yeah. it away, because she'd probably cry. So, <laughs> Anyway, happy birthday, Thank and you. we're going to have lots of fun celebrating with oh, Eleanor. Oh, we really are. And I can't a, wait. a little two-day two night, three two day, day trip, trip to Galena, Galena. Mm -hmm. Illinois, which we, we love to visit the yeah. wineries and breweries and the Irish pub and just the shopping and walking and mm -hmm. so There's anyway, lots of things to do so there. happy birthday yeah. Thank and you. glad we made it another year Me so too. we can enjoy Eleanor and just Absolutely. stay young and walk and right. just keep on. Keep, keep exercising, keep walking, keep moving. Exactly. And keep baking. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Cooking with Ruth and Gary. Until next time, happy cooking. I thought you were going to let me do that on that. Well, Can I? it'll be on I'm there, gonna, sure. I'm going to do that anyway share with you. How are they? Oh, here. No. I'm on a diet. I'll take the other smaller yeah. piece. I'm on a diet. Does it look like I'm on a diet? Probably not. I don't think so. Mmm. Okay. These are like the old pecan sandies. Yeah. I shouldn't talk about food in my mouth, but I mm -hmm. do all the time. Mm-hmm. And they do have their little butterscotch flavor with them mm -hmm. too. Very good. good. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Is that still rolling? Mm -hmm. Probably. Mm -hmm. Okay. Of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our pizza. <laughs> okay, we're done. <laughs>